Okay, so I'm really pissed right now. Well, right now I've kind of calmed down, but I was really angry. Cell phone companies piss me off. This time, it's Bell. Okay? So you make me buy a phone and get, get this warranty, and you talk it up to be this great thing. Why is it that you make me enter a three-year contract, but I only have a one-year warranty on my phone? And then my phone stops working. And then I pay all this money for a warranty that I can't even use. And this always happens. This is the second time in a row that this has happened. And I'm just, I'm just so pissed right now. And then, okay, so I go to Bell. And I'm like, my phone has stopped working. The display is not working. I can't access it. I can't use it. And the first guy is just like, oh, well, our systems are down. Sorry. You want to come back later? And I'm like, are you serious? And then I go upstairs because there's two different about locations within the same mall. I go upstairs. The girl is sitting there texting on her phone, not even paying attention. I come I come up to her. I'm polite. I'm just like, hello, my phone is broken. Uh, I'd like to see if I can get a new phone or to get my phone fixed. And she's like, oh, sorry, we don't do that here. Doesn't even check to see if I have a warranty. Doesn't even even bother to really look up for, from her phone. And then I was just like, but, uh, like, what do you mean you don't do that here? Like, it shouldn't be the customer's responsibility to go and send out the phone. I mean, your bell, you sold me this phone. It's your job to make sure that the phone works because I'm paying for a service. And the phone is a part of the service. But she's just like, Oh no, we don't do that here. You, the next, you have to go to like halfway across the city to get it fixed. That bell fixes it. So then I go all the way over there, only for them to tell me my warranty has expired. I was just like, really? So I. S <laughs> Not to mention that the guy who was selling me the phone hyped it up to be to seem like it was for the entire contract. He never actually told me a specific date, even though I had asked him. And then, they're all fine and dandy when they're selling you a phone, but as soon as you have a problem with it, then they're difficult. Like, if you want to end the contract because their service is terrible, you have to pay, what, $600 to get out of it? Now she's telling me, your phone's broken, we're not going to send it to the people who can fix it. Uh, you have two options. You can upgrade early for $170 and enter into another three-year contract. And upgrading early just means that you get a slight discount on the phone. So basically you're telling me my next phone is going to cost me $170 minimum for upgrading. That's not much of a deal. Or you can go to the other end of the mall and check and see if this place will fix it for you. Because we can't send it to our manufacturer. Like, I don't even understand. This, it's, it's just so stupid. Their policies. So then I go to the other place and they tell me, they were actually, like, really friendly and everything, and they were just like, well, it's going to cost you, like, $60 to, to fix the screen, and then, because it's a text screen, you have to fix the sensor or something like that. So it's going to cost me, essentially, uh, close to $145, something like that, to fix the phone. And they're like, you know, if I were you, I wouldn't even bother, judging from how old the phone is. So, if after two years, my phone stops working, and I'm in a three-year contract, and the people who fix phones are telling me that it's not worth it 
to get it replaced? Why are you selling crap products? That's the thing I don't understand. If I'm buying something and you're making me use the service that's attached to this object for three years, that object should be able to perform the service for the full three years. It's just common sense. I paid how much to get this freaking phone and that's what you're going to do? And this is supposed to be good business? And the thing is, even if you hate one co company, they're all owned by the same freaking person. You can't get away from it. That's why they don't care. Because even if you leave them, somebody's going to be leaving another company. I think, like, my mom was like, oh, you should probably try wind. A lot of people are happy with wind. But it's owned by these big corporations, too. It's just another branch, I think, of Bell or Telus. It's just, it's so stupid, it's so ridiculous. Stop making faulty products. Stop making people pay for faulty products. Because that's how they get you. It's all a big scam.